Our next guest is caught up in a complex relationship full of self-discovery, secrecy, and betrayal. Not to mention, her husband faked his death. Ooh. But don't worry, not all that stuff happened in her real life, but on her hit television series, Mistresses. Love the title! <laughs> <laughs> Here with the inside scoop on the drama that's unfolding on the second season of the ABC show is actress Rochelle Eights. Hey, welcome, welcome back. <laughs> Thanks for having me back again. All right, so Mistresses, it's in its Stand second up. season, yes. and it follows a lot the romantic lives of women for friends searching for love and lust. So what can we expect this time around? I love how you just <laughs> put that all together. <laughs> well, let's see. You can expect more love, mm -hmm. more scandal, more sex, lots Whoa. of sex. And Score. yes, yes, hot <laughs> men. You can definitely find way more hotties this season. All and you get some action this time around as yes, well. Yes, I get some action from the sexy, smoldering <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> who is this crazy, sexy, hot artist that I beat in the first episode. And it's kind of like this whirlwind affair we have. He's so exciting and sexy, and I think we just like fell for each other. It was like chemistry, mm. love at first sight. Oh. No, but what? it's never it's never it's, perfect. It's never perfect. No. It never is. <laughs> no. But that's a story for another day. I know. No. <laughs> but no, what originally drew you to this role? Were you concerned at all that it was too provocative? Did that scare you off or were you excited? No, not really. I didn't I, I was very excited because I'm an actress and I want to work. It's right. for ABC, mm -hmm. it's not cable, so I knew it didn't have to be nude or anything mm -hmm. like that. Um, and I, I loved the story. Once you read the script, you see that it's not about mistresses and women who are just having sex with married men. There's a story there. It's about friendship and love. And it's really about the fact that you cannot help who you love. Mm. Well, you get stuck in a few love triangles. <laughs> Last season, oh. your character April was a widow. She wasn't a mistress. But this time around, you are. So how do you like playing the other woman? Am I a mistress? Oh. <laughs> well, it seems like that's what it's leading towards. I know, but just, I'm just asking the question. Oh, for the now you have me thinking. Think. Exactly. Now, how does it... I watched <laughs> myself on Monday night, and uh -huh. I forgot that at the end of that episode, I walk back to his apartment and knock mm -hmm. on his door after he tells me that he is married. And I was like, girl, don't go back! And I forgot, <laughs> that, I forgot that scene, and I'm watching, and I'm thinking, oh, my God. No, you did not just go back April. I was so mad at myself. You're talking to yourself, girl. <laughs> so what would you do if in real life? You know, do people ask life. you this all the time, if in real life you were confronted with this? You know, I think that the answer, you, you want to say I would never do that. And I don't think I would do that, but I can understand someone getting caught up when they fall in love and they think that mm. it's real and they think that it's just the two of them and then you find out that he's married. So now you've got all of these rela uh, emotions invested in them. And it's hard, and you were tricked, you know? Mm -hmm. So April was tricked, and now she's, I don't know, now she's got to be strong. Oh, no. She's, she's so in love. Well, why does April keep attracting these married men? This is the second time, where, you know, she's attracted a married man. Rena and KJ, uh, the writers of the right. show. <laughs> it's good writing. Let me say that. It is good writing. So I know. So what kind of man do you consistently attract in real life? Oh, oh ooh. Okay. Yeah. You know what? It's interesting because I, I have in the past tended to attract guys who are not... Maybe not right for me. Um, mm, dogs. I have been unfortunately cheated on in the past. I think I said oh, that last time. But yeah. I've met some good ones as well. I'm just, mm. I am single still, but I think it's because I'm still looking for the right one. And um, yeah, I mean, I've attracted some good guys and I've attracted some bad guys. Okay, so the right one, what would that right one have to possess? He's like, what would he be wearing you? on the no, show? That I have three <laughs> inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> they have asked me to keep a list. Oh, what right are you looking one. for? Um, I know what I'm not looking for. Well, <laughs> preach that one. Let's right hear it. With that. Honesty, you better have a job, right. well, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm humble. I like a guy who's mm -hmm. down to earth. He doesn't have to be really rich and wealthy. I don't need a basketball player. I just mm. want someone that I can connect with and um, and have an equal passion for. Mm -hmm. I think that's so important in honesty. I think that's important. Girl, and a job. Important. I said that. I, I, know. I, I, know. I said that. And a job. <laughs> I don't want to repeat your mama. that one. Now, <laughs> Mistress has gotten rave reviews. Mm. Now, let me ask: Did you have any idea that this show would be so popular? And when did you know? When did you first know it was going to be a hit, is or it, that it was a hit? Is it? Is it? I don't even know. I, I I don't know how popular it is, honestly. Oh, people I, love it. People were calling me like, yeah. well, she's going to be on your oh, show. Oh, my God. Okay, you have to ask so her this exciting. and ask her that. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I feel like, I'm, I still feel like we're the the underdog trying to, like, you know, just, just make it. But 
I do get people in the streets who stop me, mm. especially women, you know, that love the show. And what was your question? I forgot now. Me too. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I just wonder when did you realize it was a hit, but you said oh, that right. you didn't well, you still realize it. Just now. Just now. Well, just now. Well, just, well, the New York Times Hollywood gave it great though. reviews. Oh, it's I don't read that place. stuff. Oh, now you why don't. don't you read that? Are you afraid that you might see something negative? Or? Yes. Oh, really? I like to just stay under the radar, and okay. I get the, the the feedback from from the fans, which is nice. But mm -hmm. that's kind of it. I feel like I'm more normal when I I do that. I don't want to obsess mm -hmm. about what everybody is thinking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Mistresses is based off the UK version of mm -hmm. the same show. Were you familiar with that version before you started doing this one? I heard about it, but I had never mm -hmm. watched it, and I still haven't I haven't seen it. However, I don't know how much time we have, but I did the a Lifetime version of this. Oh yeah, Mistresses yeah. Uh -huh. three uh, like three years before we did it, mm -hmm. and it didn't get picked up. But I so I knew all about it. Isn't it funny? It was like it was meant to. You were to destined be. to be. It was mm -hmm. destined to be a part of this wow. this show. We have a second season, so it must be doing that. That is a good exactly. thing. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> and you star alongside Alyssa Milano, Yunjin Kim, mm -hmm. and Jess McCallan. Yes. Now, what's the energy like on that set? Is it cat fight or pajama party? It, it, honestly, <laughs> it's, there's no cat fighting. We don't see each other every day because we all have different storylines. So mm -hmm. when we come in, it's really just once a week, and it kind of takes the director a long time to get us to shut up because we're just da -da 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 talking and talking and talking and, and, and just having a great time. Now, yeah, I, as people, people often ask that question of, to, you know, to women about the dynamic between women on the set. Do you find that in Hollywood that that's a, that that's a big thing? That, there's, that there are issues there within, with, with women on sets? I can imagine that there would be issues. Uh, I haven't experienced it yet, and I hope that I don't. But I can imagine with egos and things like that, and you know, you, it could be a problem. I've heard stories. And I just hope that it doesn't happen because I want a nice, pleasant, happy environment right. to go to right. work every day. Definitely. Okay, so now we have to switch gears and ask you about the TLC biopic. You played Pebbles Reed, Pebbles mm. Reed, Pebbles Reed yes. in the movie. <laughs> it was a great movie. You did a great job. I Thank loved it. You. But Pebbles didn't like it as much. She didn't like being betrayed as an unethical businesswoman, and she's actually suing Viacom for $40 million because of it. So as an actress... You're just playing a role. I heard she was doing. I know how much. That's a yeah, lot. Yeah, forty million dollars. Mm -hmm. As an actress, you're just playing a role. How does it make you feel when someone that you're portraying isn't happy with it? Um, I'm disconnected mm -hmm. to that. Mm -hmm. I am just the actress, and I just went along with the script. I enjoyed it. I thought that it was um, it was great for a character to play. There were so many. I felt like there were some some great levels to play. I'd never mm -hmm. played a real person before. Uh, I wasn't able to obviously to talk to her, but I watched some interviews of her, and and it was fun to just kind of get into the mindset of of another human being. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean it's unfortunate that that had to happen, yeah. you know. But um, is there but ever I'm an extra an added layer of anxiety when you have to play someone that is living <laughs> right. that, that challenges the, the story? There is, there is, and again, I couldn't talk to her, but I didn't want to. I wanted to at least portray her with some respect mm -hmm. and uh, some depth and uh, just give her that respect because any human being, there's so many levels to you. You're not just one way or the other. So uh, there was definitely some pressure yeah. that I put on myself, you right. know. Mm -hmm. Well, on the plus side, I know you were a fan of TLC growing up and you had the opportunities to meet and work with them on cast. What was it like when you first met them and <sighs> actually interacted with them on I the know. set? I was so excited to meet them and I actually uh -huh. spoke to Chili on the phone before I even went to Atlanta and for 45 minutes she's talking to me about giving me different stories and scenarios mm -hmm. and things that happened in the past and I, I was kind of I forgot what she said. Like, what did she just say? Because all I kept saying, the other part of my brain was saying, Chili is talking to you right now. I was so nervous <laughs> really? and excited. And, and then when so I met awesome. T-Boz, the same thing. But mm. they were so sweet and so inviting. It was just an amazing amazing experience. Yeah. Well, it's a classic now, so I you know. did a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Now, before you go, you have to tell us what's next for you. I know you're busy with mistresses. What's next? Oh, gosh. I wish I had a definite answer for what's next, but I don't know what's next. Mm. Um, I did a, a small independent film. It's a, a romantic comedy. I'm not quite sure when it's going to come out. It's called My Favorite Five. Um, maybe at the end of the year. Okay. Other than that, I am crossing my fingers about something Oh, oh okay. So, Can we get a little yeah, yeah, my fingers about to, you know, just give us a little a, circle a yeah, involved dancing. <gasps> like oh. with the stars maybe? I don't know. I'm just saying <laughs> involved dancing. 
dancing. I am pushing my finger dancing. in your background. Well, you're, is dancing. Did I get yeah. something? You're a trained ballerina. So. I'm a trained dancer, but not in all types. You know, in some uh -huh. some areas. So whatever this project you speak of <laughs> is, you have to be trained in all types, or at least know how to dance in all types. I didn't say that. I would <laughs> love to combine uh -huh. my dance and my acting, though. I, I I really can't wait for that to happen. You know, it's while I'm still young and and can move mm -hmm. and kick my leg. I don't want to. Uh -oh. I don't want to. He be wants like to see you kick yeah. your leg. Kick your leg. I felt his heart beat then. Whoa! There we had it. Strong shake, girl. Oh, that did no stretch. Take us the break for that. Take us the break, please. Take us the break. It's too hot. Take us the break. Guys, you're watching Rise Entertainment 360. Right back. Oh, Lord. Girl, I stretch. I go to the gym. I still keep.